Okay, I'm recording. Hi, I'm gonna show you how I build a dry cell. This is what's called a dry cell. We have a bunch of plates and insulators in between. Start off with one of those plates, which is insulation. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. And you put one of those insulation things on top of it at the very bottom and then you start putting plates. The plates are exactly the same from side to side except the top has a notch here for power uh, like a, a one of those tabs power connectors you can connect here so we're going to alternate one this way one this way one this way one this way and every other one will have one of those insulations in there but you got to make sure that before you put the plate on you clean them out real good with alcohol wear rubber gloves or any kind of gloves so it's easy to work with and you clean both sides real good you don't want any contamination from your hand the oil from your hand okay once it's cleaned make sure you put it the opposite from the last one you line them up to the screws and in it goes now the screws are those and they have insulation on them like regular in hint, uh, heat shrink tubing you put them on then you heat them up and they shrink and they become real tight you don't want the screws touching the plates so once you put the plate you put the insulation on just like this very slowly you gotta be careful not to tear it apart it's very thin it's like one sixteenth of an inch if you put two together you'll get uh, one eighth but the closer the plates together the better it is to generate hydrogen Stanley Meyer used circular tubes with very 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 small tolerance in between them I could not get tubes because I couldn't find a machine shop that could do what I want so I'm doing it with plates and this unit is going to be completely self-contained the water is going to circulate between the plates through those holes see those holes the water will circulate between each plate through those holes with one sixteenth of an inch opening between them carefully slide the insulation down making sure you don't rip it here we go that's done now the next plate again don't forget to clean it when it's completely assembled I'm gonna test it out with a Dave Lawton circuit that I built the D14 the latest one he had he had and hopefully I'll get some good results slide it down slowly and there it is it fits next again the insulation and we'll come back when I'm completely done and I'll show you the finished product 